Welcome to this bite-sized edition of the Alternative News Podcast with James. Um, sadly, no Tom today. Uh, he was meant to be um, joining for this uh, special kind of bite-sized edition, um, but he, he accidentally got on a plane. Um, so yeah, he's um, unfortunate not to be here. So um, yeah, hopefully Tom can um, make a speedy return back to the UK and uh, hopefully join us um, for the next bite-sized uh edition so um yeah anyone who is familiar with these um bite-sized episodes will know that um they're normally five to ten minutes long we go through um kind of weird news amazing news uh anything slightly funny quirky basically alternative news clues in the title so um as most people will know who've listened to my most of mine uh are weird news stories taken from the mammoth book of weird news by Jeff Tibbles. Um, so yeah, if you're uh, into weird news, and I recommend um, buying his book. Um, he has got some other books, um, maybe twenty or thirty actually, which are all all start with the title "The Mammoth Book of Something." Um, and the one that me and Tom particularly like is "The Mammoth Book of Hard Bastards." Or oh, bastard, as Sean Bean. Sean Bean says the best one. Bastard. Uh, the Mammoth Book of Hard Bastards. Um, so there's all sorts in there. Um, I won't say that word again because I've used up my quota um, already. Um, so yeah, please buy the Mammoth Book of Weird News if you're into your weird news. So I'm um, I'm going to give you three um, weird news stories today. Yeah, the first one is um, it's an animal related weird news story. Any uh, regular listeners to the podcast um, will know that there's always an animal related um weird news story from uh, this mammoth book of weird news um the headline reads chicken fined for crossing the road <laughs> um a chicken was fined 60 dollars for illegally crossing the road in california this is like those stories i remember i don't know how true they are but i remember you like you can't go into a church in wisconsin with an ice cream in your back pocket like there's weird like kind of little laws like that I don't know if this is quite like that, but um, maybe that'll be on Weird News next week. Man, fine for having ice cream in his back pocket in a church in Wisconsin. Um, so, yeah, this chicken was fined $60 um, in violation of a state law which bans livestock from highways. Uh, however, the chicken's owners, Link and uh, Helena, appealed against the fine, arguing that the chicken was domesticated and therefore could not be considered as livestock. Um, it looks like the judge eventually dismissed the case. So that's good, isn't it? That's good. That's, um, that's, that's kind of, um, justice, isn't it? Full flow there. The chicken got, um, got justice. Um, so yeah, if you're a, if you're a chicken in California and, uh, you're not domesticated, then you better watch out. Um, second, um, weird news story. Um, and the headline reads, Woman sat on toilet for a month. A woman spent at least a month sitting on her boyfriend's toilet so that by the time he finally contacted police, she was stuck to the seat. Although Corey told investigators that he regularly took food and water and had begged her every day to come out of the bathroom, 35-year-old Pam Babcock, Babcock from Ness County, Kansas, apparently refused to move. Sheriff Brian Whipple said it appeared that the woman's skin had grown around the seat. It grown around the seat. We prized the toilet seat off with a bar and the seat went with her to hospital. The hospital removed it. She was not glued. She was not tied. She was just physically stuck by her body. It is hard to imagine. Yeah, it is hard to imagine. It really is hard to imagine. Someone sat on the toilet for a month and their skin grew around it it's like something out of a horror film that is weird very much weird news um this third and final um weird news story is um is really funny and when next time you're at the butchers um 
just have a look at the cuts of meat and see if any of them are suggestive. Because this, you just what you know, just listen to this. Butcher fired over suggestive meat cuts. Butcher Kenneth Black was fired from a South California supermarket after a female co-worker complained that he had intentionally cut meat to resemble female genitalia. Black said it was the first time... <laughs> this is brilliant. Black said it was the first time he'd had a complaint about his meat in 20 years. So, um, yeah. Uh, Kenneth Black the Butcher um, likes to cut his meat into, into suggestive cuts. Um, so, yeah, next time you're down Market Street in a Morrison's, um, just have a look at the meat. Just to, uh, and just, just check that Kenneth isn't working there. Um, yeah, that's strange. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's your weird news for uh, this episode. As, uh, as always, follow us on Twitter, like, subscribe, follow and all that kind of stuff on your podcast provider. Um, check out for more of these Bite Size episodes. And also... Um, look out for the feature length one hour episode which contains all this kind of stuff and lots 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 more content so um yeah hopefully tom is um on his way back on his return flight now and uh, hopefully he'll be available for the next podcast so take care everyone see you soon bye